In this video, I want to talk to you about the Janome HD5050. The HD5050 is a Ken Sewing Center exclusive. This is the fourth machine we've partnered with Janome to manufacture our own model. The HD stands for heavy duty. Now, the HD5050 is not your normal machine. It is loaded with features. It is loaded with accessories, and it's made to last. Let us talk to you a little bit about this machine and give you a brief overview. When we had this machine developed, we want it to be easy to use, be very durable, have enough stitches that you could grow into to not outgrow it anytime soon, and come with a lot of accessories. And Janome really came through on this model. The HD5050 is going to give us our computer controls right in front of us here. I can adjust the stitch here. I can adjust my stitch width and my stitch length just by these buttons right in front of me. So I don't have to reach around or push 15 buttons to get to where I'm wanting to go. The HD 5050 has us covered on that. Now, the way the computer board is laid out on this machine, I can fast forward through certain parts of it so I don't have to scroll through all 50 stitches to get to where I'm wanting to go. The machine will have the speed control over it. It will override the speed of the machine. Now we are including a foot control with the HD5050, but you can use the start stop button. So if you don't want to use the foot control, you don't have to. You just hit the start on and the start off. You do have the built-in scissor. This is huge. Having a scissor on the machine is going to allow me to snip my bobbin and top thread at the push of a button. There's no telling how many customers have come to me at trade shows, quilting shows, in our store, or calling us online telling me, I wish I had this feature on my machine. I wish I would bought a machine that had this on it sooner. I really can't tell you how much I enjoy that feature. Well, you're going to have the ability to snip your threads at your beck and call just by the push of a button. It will have the needle up, needle down. There's times I want my needle to stop in the fabric. If I'm turning a corner or if I'm doing applique work. But also there's times I want to be out of the fabric. So I make sure I don't jerk my fabric or bend my needle or break the needle. It does have the auto lock feature for us. Auto lock is going to tie the stitch off for me underneath. So that stitch is hidden and out of the way. You do have a traditional reverse, but you'll probably never use it again because of the auto lock feature. That is a really nice feature to have on. The HD5050 does have our top winding bobbin and it has a horizontal spool pin. Now it will come with an extra spool pin that goes right here. So if I want to do twin needle sewing, I have the ability to do that really easy on the HD5050. I do have the channel threading all the way down to my needle. Now channel threading is, allows me to get my threads in the tension where I need to. There's everything on the front of the machine show me where I put the thread. And then I have a built-in needle threader on the machine that's going to thread that needle for me. We do have the adjustable pressure. This regulates the amount of force being pressed down onto my material. So for your lighter weight materials, if you're worrying about it going down into your throat plate, you can back off of the amount of pressure going here. If you have a thicker or spongier piece of material, you may want to add additional pressure so it holds the fabric onto the feed dogs. Now you'll notice here I have extra high lift under my presser foot so I can get those thicker quilts. Your side seams on the pair of denim jeans if you're doing uh, overalls or anything that's really thick with blankets. I can get that under the foot because I have that extra high lift. The HD5050 will have the seven point feed dog system built in on it. So it's touching my fabric in seven places. That's extremely critical when I'm working with lighter weight material and I want to make sure I've got more surface area touching my fabric so it's going to feed everything through flat while the needle's penetrating the garment. I will have the top drop in bobbin right here. I can see my bobbin at any given time, know how much thread's on there. If you also there's notice there's markings on my throat plate, there's also markings on my bobbin cover plate. That helps me get seam allowances. I do have a place here that I can screw in a seam guide and measure off from my needle to that seam guide for a certain seam allowance. The HD5050 has a little razor on the side of the machine that will snip that thread when I'm coming out the back. Now another thing I really like about the 5050 is the accessory tray. The accessory tray opens toward me. So then I can easily see what I need to get to, get the attachment that I want to work with, and then I can easily shut this back up. All my accessories are stored and it comes with a lot. Look at the end of the video, we'll have a detail of all the accessories that comes with it. But you're going to get some bonuses as well that you normally don't see. 
The 50-50 does have the removable accessory tray, and that exposes my free arm, so I'm, am I hemming a pair of pants, shirt sleeve, I can get that over it and not have to worry about it. There is a drop feed lever on the back of the machine to drop those feed dogs out of the way. So if I'm darning a hole, putting on a button, or if I want to get into free motion quilting, I'm able to do that with no problem whatsoever. There's a lot of optional attachments made for the 50-50. All the seven millimeter snap-on Janome presser feet will work. This is a low shank machine. So there are tons of low shank attachments on the market that will work with the 50-50. Ken Sewing Center carries everything that's made for it. We can help you find the right attachment for the project you're doing. The 5050 will also come with an extra bonus that you normally don't see from machines in this price range. You're going to get the extension table. Now, this table is made out of the same material that the outer housing of the machine is made out of. It's super durable and tough. And the top of this is kind of slick, so your fabric's going to glide right across the top of it. There are a measurement router here on the front so that helps me as well keep my fabric straight and measure off the machine also has a hard cover that'll come with it that's made out of the same material as outer housing as well keeping that machine protected when you're not using it put it on to keep dust off of it dust will rub your oil supply quicker than anything the HD 5050 also has available a lot of other optional attachments. There's very few Janome models that will allow you to use the magnifiers. Now there's a place right underneath here that allows me to attach the magnifier. I can put that magnifier on and there I go. This is something you can always add at a later date. The 5050 has 50 total stitches built in. We have all the major categories covered on the stitches. You're going to, of course, have straight stitch. Now, I can move my width button and move the needle over. If I need to put in a zipper, cording, or piping, I'm able to do that. I can move it left of center or right of center just by keeping it on straight stitch and hitting my width button. I will have the ability here just hit number three and it moves it all the way over to the left. This is my double straight stitch. For knits, it sews two stitches forward and one in reverse. I have overcasting stitches, elastic stitches, blanket stitches built in. Here I have stretch blind hems and I have the serger stitch built in. Now it doesn't have a knife, but it has that overcast stitch that you normally see on a traditional serger. Then I have blunt tip blind hems built in. The HD5050 does have the one-step button holes built in. It will come with a specialized foot that will allow me to sew all these popular styles of one-step buttonhole, and it's going to size it every time to the button that I'm working with. I do have applique stitches that are built in. These are thicker. I can adjust the length between the tacks and the width of each tack if I need to. On this machine, I have the heirloom sewing here. Get you a wing needle and you'll be able to do heirloom sewing with the 5050. I have some other decorative stitches that are built in. I have the old timey feather stitch or briar stitch. I use a lot in quilting. And then I have a few more decorative stitches that are built in. All these stitches, I can adjust the length and the width on all the sewing patterns. On the 50-50, my computer controls are right in front of me at any given time. I can fast forward through the stitch count just by hitting this button here. And let's say that I want to do stitch number 12, which is a, a blind hem, a stretch blind hem. The machine is going to recommend a presser foot. All the Janome presser feet have letters indented into them. So all I need to make sure is I have letter G on. I can adjust the width here with this button and adjust the length of my stitch here and it will adjust those in half millimeter increments. So you have so much precision of where I can adjust my width and my length settings. I can fast forward through the stitch count on the placard here just by hitting these four buttons. Everything is grouped together thematically. If I just want to go directly to my one step buttonholes, I can do that as well. I can set the machine to memorize a scissor cut so you get to the end of a seam and want to do that. On the front of the machine, I will have the ability to override the speed of the machine here. I can hit this button to snip the thread, my needle up, needle down, and the auto lock button. There are many reasons why that we wanted to add a computerized HD to our already extensive HD line. The HD5050 is going to give us all these computer controls and it's very durable. Here I'm going to sew through eight layers of denim. Now this is roughly the side seam on a pair of denim blue jeans. Having that extra high lift under my pressure foot makes a big difference because now I can easily get 
the fabric right underneath that foot and I don't have to worry about it. So here I'm gonna put this eight layers of denim. I'm gonna to go to my straight stitch and I'm gonna back the speed down just a little bit just for demonstration purposes to show you how this machine can crawl down on two materials. So I'm going through eight layers of denim right here. Then it's gonna crawl down onto this cotton material. We'll speed it up just a little. And notice how it crawls down onto that. I do not have to worry about tensions. I don't have automatic tensions, but you're not gonna to have to adjust tensions on the 50-50. It's very rare. If you're having a problem with tension, you'll call us. Then I have the ability to go through the stretch material. I get to the end of my seam and I'm gonna hit auto lock. Now auto lock's gonna tie that stitch off underneath so it's hidden and out of the way. I'll hit my scissor to snip that bobbin and top thread. I have a three position foot here, down, middle, and up. I'll raise it up. Now I have sewn through eight layers of denim, through a cotton, through a stretch material. There's no puckering whatsoever. The HD 5050 also can handle a lot heavier materials. Here I've got a vinyl with a backing on it. I'm gonna show you just how easy, and I'm not adjusting any tensions whatsoever. It will sew through this material, and it's gonna handle it with no problem whatsoever. Here we're going to show you the power of the HD 5050. I'm sewing through a heavy denim here, and this will represent that side seam on my pair of blue jeans. I'm going to show you just how this machine can crawl up and over that material. That is nine layers of denim. You know me HD 5050 is going to come loaded with a lot of accessories and you're going to get some bonus items included with this machine. Of course you get extra spool caps, you get the lint brush, there's an extra spool pen if you're wanting to have a secondary spool maybe for twin needle sewing or if you're changing out colors that are popular for you. You're going to get the one step buttonhole foot. Now this particular foot allows me to work with the size button that I want to right here. It's going to size it every time to all the different one step buttonhole stitches that's on the machine. I will have the walking foot, and that's a bonus you normally don't get with the machine. You're also gonna get the quarter inch seam guide foot for your quilting. You get the satin stitch clear foot. You're gonna get the zipper foot. I also have the ultra glide foot for leather sewing. This is really great if you have different fabrics that has textures like some velvets. This machine, this foot is gonna allow you to glide right over top of that for fabrics that are hard to feed. Then you're gonna get the blind hem foot, you're gonna get the overcasting foot, there's extra screwdrivers and tools, extra needles and bobbins, and your seam ripper is gonna come standard. Also, you'll get the instructional DVD with this machine. Now, Ken Sewing Center gives you our premium support package. We're here to help you with any kind of question you have on the HD 5050, or just a phone call or email away for the life you own your machine, you can depend on us to help you with the HD 5050. Ken Sewing Center is your authorized Genome dealer. We can tell you so many more things about the HD 5050. Folks, we got a lot more information on our website. Check it out, drop us an email, give us a call anytime. We can compare the HD 5050 to any model within the Genome line and help you find the right machine for you.